So now we are going to discuss about outliers. So what is outlier? Outlier that is nothing but we are just going to check the abnormal range of a given data that is what our outlier is. When we are just having the random sample values from the population, this is the total value of the population and here we have some data and now we have only one data which is not comes in between to the range. So now we are considering this as an outlier. So now we are just making a abnormal observation from our normal data. So that's what our outlier is. So how to handle the outliers? We can able to handle our outlier in a two different parts. One is EDA, another one is graphical representation. What is EDA? Exploratory data analysis. First we need to collect the data. Then we need to apply the techniques. Then we need to focus on the various technologies which is all possible. Then we need to go ahead with the, what the, the conclusion that we need to reach. So the next thing is box plot. So the box plot that is nothing but a graphical display for describing the behavior of the data. So now we are just going to discuss about how to draw the box plot. This is a very important thing in handling outliers. So when it comes to this box plot, it's nothing but a graphical representation. The box plot which exactly looks like this where you have a lower extreme and the upper extreme. We have one upper quartile and we have one median values. Then we have one lower quartile and this is known as whisker. So now we are getting some points which is not comes in between to this range. Now we are calling this point as sun data that is nothing but an outlier. So now we will just go to discuss about how to calculate and how to plot the box plot. So the box plot is a graphical representation to draw about the particular graphical view of your outliers. So first step is we need to calculate Q1 that is nothing but lower quartile. So this lower quartile that is nothing but the least value then q3 that is nothing but a upper quartile now difference of this q3 and our q1 that is what we are calling this a interquartile range so now we are going to calculate the box plot so now how to calculate the box plot where we are having a box plot of data for box plot is 1 2 2 3 4 6 7 for 3 times 8 11 12 15 for 3 times and 17 for 2 times 18 and 20. Now there is total 20 data points in the data set. So the first thing is now I want to know about how to take the box plot. So now let's see how to draw the box plot. So the first thing is we have the data of 1. So I'm just uh, plotting a graph like this. So the next thing is uh, we need to calculate first the Q1 value. So how to calculate the Q1 value? So where we have a data like the 20 data. What is the median data for this? 7 and 8. This is the median data. So now again I need to calculate the me mean value of 7 to 8. So now I am getting 7.5. Now the 7.5 that is nothing but my center data. Now I am going to calculate the Q1. So how to calculate Q1? So again I am just making the first 10 data that is nothing but the first quartile. So now from this 4 and 6 I am just considering this as a median value. So now I am calculating the average for 4 and 6. Now my Q1 value is 5. So again I am plotting my Q1 as a 5. Now the next. Th so now we just plotted Q1 and Q2. And this is our Q1 
and this is our q3 now i want to calculate the q2 value so what is the q2 value that is nothing but difference between our q1 and q3 so q3 minus q1 this is what my q2 value is now i am plotting my q2 value that's nothing but the difference between of my q1 and q3 then again i am calculating my q5 value so how to calculate the q5 value that is nothing but the again the final destination of my q5 so now i am plotting my q5 again so now i want to know the q4 value so q5 minus q3 that is what my q4 value is i plotted so now we are having some five digits so now i am just making a box plot so this is how to plot the box plot in a statistics method so when i am having some data like this in my box plot this data is all considered as a outliers because this is not comes in the particular range so now this is a box box plot which is actual in the range apart from whatever here we are having which is not comes with the range which is known as our outliers here we have two kind of outliers one is inbound outlier and another one is outbound outlier so what is inbound outlier inbound outlier that is nothing but where it's an outlier but still it can able to consider what is outbound outlier it's an outlier we could not always consider so that's what our outbound outlier is so for example now i want to calculate the box plot outliers for one call center company so that company they, they need to get the data in between to 19 to 25 where they are planning to promote the education loan for their companies so now i am getting the age group of 27 to 30 even i can able to approach the people for education loan this is known as inbound outliers some data which i am getting more than 50 or 40 like this those people we can't able to approach them for an education loan so those people we are considering them as a outbound outliers so when it comes to inbound outliers we can able to consider when it comes to outbound outliers we should not consider those things so now i want to plot box plot in python so the first thing is we need to import our seaborn then some data sets to be considered so now here i am loading the preloaded data set for the boston so now here i am box plotting seaborn dot box plot for a particular data column that is nothing but das column now i am plotting the box plot for das so now here we got the box plot here we are getting some data which is not in the range so now we are considering this data as an outliers so this is what box plot is and even we can able to calculate our box plot oh uh, sorry our outliers even in our scatter plot so now here we have some data which is not comes under our region so even we can able to consider this four data as an outliers outliers that is nothing but which not comes with the range so now this is outlier and this is the way to plot a graph as a box plot